Atenerai Koto, uh, this is Steve Mahari, Vice Chancellor of Massey University here, and you'll know we've done a few video logs over the past few months to try and make sure that we're talking with students and inviting your comments on things that are important to the university. So today we're going to focus on distance education, and that's why Ralph Sprack here, who is the uh, President of Xmas, is with me. And I'd like to introduce a new person to the university, been here for a very short period of time, Dr. Ingrid Day, who's, who is the new ABC academic and will focus, of course, on extramural distance issues as, as well. I thought I'd just start by asking Ralph what he thinks are the main issues on the minds of distance students at the present time, uh, because uh, this is coming towards the end of the year. And what do you think is concerning people now as they wind up their studies? I think, um, I think Steve, they're going to be looking at next year. There's some um, challenges in the environment that students are studying in. The policy changes, the government's driving, and, uh, and the economic sort of situation is, is a real challenge. Places for distance learning may be contested next year, may not be automatic entry, and I think that's going to be quite high on people's agendas. Now, of course, we, we probably don't want to concern people unduly because these things are mooted, not real yet. So what could they do to stay in touch to, to see policy developments? I think a good place to go is the Xmas website. The Extramural Student Society's website is, uh, has feeds from, um, from the government policies. Mm. There is also um, the ability just to ring up and ask people. So okay. do that. And one of the exciting things over the last little while has been the long-heralded and waited for ABC Academic that we've <laughs> been talking about getting onto the campus. And uh, I know you've been particularly keen to see the area of distance education given a, a lot more prominence again. Mm. What are you looking for from uh, the new role that Dr Day is, is filling? Well, I think there needs to be some good leadership. And, uh, and we've seen that in the 40 days that you've already been here. And, uh, and so clear direction um, and an understanding of what the future is going to hold. Okay. And introducing you, um, maybe it's Quick, quick word about where you've come from, but then you've been here for a short period of time, but I know you've formed some impressions of where you want to take things, so sure. just tell us that. Um, my background, well, as distance students, you might be interested to know, I started uh, in the university, my first job was actually editing um, the study materials that you get sent, so distance education study materials, so a background well and truly grounded in, at the University of South Australia, and delighted to be in New Zealand, mm. um, uh, pleased to be here. Um, and really delighted to be in such a, a university with such a strong focus on distance education because I think when we, when we plan how we teach and how we learn, distance education is, is an outstanding environment in which to try and get it right, actually. Mm -hmm. um, what am I looking at? Well, one of the things that Ralph and, and you will know I've discussed in the last few weeks is actually trying to enhance the way um, distance students get access to study materials. So at the moment I think it's primarily print-based uh, materials that, that students get um, and that, that certainly has a place but I like to increase the choices and mm. so maybe maybe sorts of things we're looking at are maybe getting um, materials on memory sticks or flash drives or electronic readers or being able to download from the university website. Not as a you must this way but as an option. So the students who prefer to get your materials electronically, we're looking at exploring a greater way of, um, of, of providing those materials. Okay, that's consistent with the way the university sees itself as moving into a what we call a richer digital environment so that students, whether they are studying on a campus or whether they're doing it uh, at a distance, they get the real benefits of what is a bit of a revolution now in, in learning uh, because there's so much more you can do with, uh, with that digital environment. So we'll watch those developments. Okay, we like to keep these short, as we've always said uh, previously, because we know uh, that a long video log is not a, a great one. Uh, so let me close it there, but invite you to contact me if there are issues that you want to raise about the university or talk with Ralph as he has suggested in relation to Xmas issues, or if there are things you just want to pass on to Dr Day while she's Where's thinking you? about where she might go from here. That would be great. She'd love to hear from you. Okay, go well, enjoy your studies, and uh, we'll talk to you again.